Moore Sexton Bibby was established in 1989 and we did everything that came through the door. Uh, crime, personal injury work, wills, probate, conveyancing, family work, every aspect of work. So there was nothing we wouldn't turn our hands to. So we grew, we're now a nine partner firm. We have partners across every uh, discipline of work. We moved to increase our space by almost 200%. We now have space for a bespoke marketing suite where we can deliver uh, lectures and marketing events to up to 70 or 80 people. We have an informal coffee lounge to see prospective clients and in addition we've got a mediation suite where we can host family mediations and commercial mediations and we have a full diary list every day of mediations which we're conducting and so that's been an enormously successful part. We begin to see an acceleration of our development Two, three years ago, we decided that as a firm, we needed to uh, devote our time and attention to charitable causes. First to charity was Amadudu, Women's Refuge, so we were delighted to support them. And last year, our charity of choice in 2014 was the James Bolger Memorial Trust. We've sponsored a fantastic gala dinner, other fundraising activities that we've done for them, including sponsored runs, a skydives, two of our youngest girls, Danny uh, and Becky, jumped out of an aeroplane. They raised roughly around £5,000 for our charity, which is absolutely amazing. They've raised the profile of the charity for us, you know, they've been brilliant to us. Speaking to many of the staff that work here, they really support us, they come on board, you just pick up the phone, email, and it's not just one person that's come back to us, the amount of staff that want to support the charity, it's fantastic, it really is. This year, uh, a new charity, we do resolve to change our charity and to look after as many people as we can. It's been a really nice experience getting to know everyone at MSB and it's been brilliant to see the response from everyone. Clare House is well established. I believe that we want to work with them to try and do things which make a difference and that isn't just about fundraising, uh, running 5Ks and handing over the cheque. I want all of our staff to be absolutely committed. They're really on board and they're really excited to be involved with Clare House so it's a really exciting time, we're looking forward to it. Last year we were looking for a, a project based around sport, recreation, health and young people. I've known Dave Woods uh, for many years and Dave is the um, chairman of Walton Football Club and it was a perfect opportunity for us to badge up with a very prominent football club in Liverpool. I was absolutely delighted when Dave said that they were prepared to change their name to MSB Walton. We've been absolutely delighted with the feedback and going forward we've, we've signed up initially for three years, we'll be looking to expand where we can. My role is as, as chair so I chair the committee meetings, um, I attend FA meetings on behalf of the club and I assist in the administration. Well I'm very grateful to MSB for uh, coming on board. I think it will be mutually beneficial. Already we're, we're getting projects together which um, they, they've assisted with. There's going to be a lot of development of football in Liverpool and as it develops it will be very high profile both for the club and hopefully for MSB as well. We established our academy earlier this year. I'd always considered that it would be tremendously advantageous to our younger staff to be able to deliver them some of the knowledge that you obtain through the years. That isn't knowledge about law, this is knowledge about uh, social surroundings, knowledge about business development. So having an academy isn't really anything to do with delivery of law. We wanted them to think about their ethics, their interrelationship with each other and the business community at large. It was really, really rewarding. We will keep it going. It isn't a one-off event. It's very important to us that our young people continue to see the development of the Academy. We've made some great um, advances during the last 12 months, supporting multiple events. Um, Liverpool Loves uh, would be an example of one of those. So we've tried to make sure that we are, we're taking part in as many activities as possible. We've had uh, appointments into the firm. Our, our, we've grown now, I think, to 90 as a headcount, so we continue to expand. We've had client wins, uh, which has been very pleasing, as, of course, we have to continue all the time to expand our client base. It's so pleasing to be recognised by external accreditation and this year we were particularly pleased uh, by the uh, uh, the recognition of the legal 500 of our fraud crime team and uh, Sean in particular uh, who was described by an anonymous uh, contributor as a powerhouse in his field we can't underestimate the impact that that's had and it's particularly pleasing that it's assisted with our PR and marketing and I'm sure Sean will tell you more about that. It's been a really big year for us. We've got a whole team of people who all do quality work, not just in Liverpool and in the North West, but all over the country, whether it be London or Lincoln or Leeds or, or North Wales. As a team, we deal with a whole range of work, right from basic motoring offences right up to the other end of the spectrum, murder. We, we had an acquittal in a murder case this year. We specialise in defending people who've been 
charged with, with serious fraud, we were recognised by the Legal 500 as the highest rank criminal defence firm in Liverpool, specifically the highest rank firm in serious and complex fraud. That was very pleasing. It's taken us more than 20 years to build that team. It's been a really good year in terms of what we've achieved and also the perception that people have of the team as well. We're arranging for, for the next uh, 12 months a series of seminars where we can actually say to people who are running businesses, look, these are potential problems, whether it's VAT, whether it's health and safety, whether it's some other regulatory issue, but it, it's a growing field. It's been a wonderful uh, 12 months for awards. We awarded the Your Move magazine Property Law Firm of the Year Award. I personally was awarded the Liverpool Legal Entrepreneur of the Year Award and we were thrilled that the firm was awarded the City of Liverpool a Business Awards Legal Firm of the Year and finally the Liverpool Law Society's uh, Law Firm of the Year. So to win all four was absolutely wonderful. In terms of going forward, we grow because we are recommended to so many clients. I get the feedback questionnaires of all our clients and probably the most satisfying part of my job is reading uh, comments about our professional staff how they delivered exceptional service. So there will be more of the same, there will be recruitments and growth, business activity. I have the highest confidence that, that we are not only here to stay, we've been here 25 years, but our impact, our continued impact in the city is only going to get bigger.